Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I've got a cleaning video. It has been a minute since I've made a cleaning video. Definitely before Thanksgiving, I think. Um, anyways, but there's been a lot of changes to the house since I did my last cleaning video. I've been doing some renter friendly hacks. So if you are new to my channel, you definitely want to check out my vlogs because I've been talking about those on there. So I started out in our room and just kind of tidied up. This is my little office nook and a lot of people have been asking about this of where my computer is or where um, I do my editing and stuff and so this is where it is it's kind of hidden behind this door so you don't always see it but it definitely needed to be freshened up today I've got this feeling I'm feeling you could be the one See no reason why I should ever let you go. Mm. Don't wanna wake up if I'm dreaming because you know I can't get enough of this feeling you're giving me. Don't wanna wake up. No, I don't wanna wake up. I don't wanna wake up without you, baby, without. Next, I got a load of laundry going. I've been trying to do about one load a day and it's really been helping me. I was in this routine a while back and kind of fell out of it and oh my goodness, it just made laundry really pile up. So now that I'm back on that routine, it's such a stress reliever and I'm not worried about the laundry backing up so badly. I literally wash, dry, and fold one load every day. Sometimes I forget to breathe. I do use a combination of different things to clean, and one of the things I use is something called Norwex cloths. So you're gonna see me use it with a paste here in a little bit on the countertops because there was something that was dark on the countertop. And um, I really love them, especially for windows, not the paste, but the cloths. And all you need is water to use them because they have colloidal silver in them. Also, if I look a little bit funny, it's because I have my self-tanner on and it makes my skin look darker or just kind of off. <laughs> so I was letting it set in while I was cleaning. So this was the next day and I kind of split this up into two days. So this dish pile is because the day before I was gone a lot and Corey, my husband, was home with our kiddos and he just decided, he does do dishes <laughs> and he does help clean, but he decided to spend his time with the girls and just give them some attention. And so the dishes got neglected, which was fine. Um, so I needed to run the dishwasher a few times this day, as you'll see, and um, I am not shy to do that. I definitely would rather run my dishwasher a couple times in a day and use that time for something else than to hand wash a bunch of dishes. <laughs> So here in the kitchen, if you guys watch my vlogs, you definitely know that there's been a lot of changes. And this is where I've done a bunch of my renters hacks and things. And I've been so happy with how it's turned out. I know a lot of people were asking how I'm going to care for this floor. So you'll see in a second here what I'm gonna do with it. You know we 
should work it out You know we should work it out Before I'm too invested I should probably ask ya Ask you all my questions Get to know you better But can you be trusted? Will you take me for granted? This little table is actually something on my to-do list. It really needs to be repainted, particularly the chairs. There's a lot of chips in them and they're just, yeah, looking like they need a new coat of paint. So I'm thinking possibly in January um, after the holidays and when things slow down, I'm going to repaint this table set and just give it a fresh coat. Before I'm too invested, I should probably ask you, ask you all my questions, get to know you. Alright, so in taking care of this floor, um, one of the things that I do is I use a broom instead of the vacuum cleaner, um, just because I don't want it to puncture it or to tear it up or anything. And if you guys don't know, this is actually contact paper on the floor. Um, and it's something that is a little bit of a renter's hack. You can cover up floor that you don't really care for. And then I'm also mopping it with a Norwex mop. These mops do not hold much water, so they're kind of more like a damp mop. And they do a really good job because they do have silver in them, so they kill bacteria and they clean well, but without damaging too badly. And then um, the other thing is too, is you can easily replace sections of this floor if something were to happen to it. And I probably will replace it completely in a few months just because I don't want um, it to get too stuck. I'm gonna be checking on it just to make sure that it's not hurting the floor underneath or that the adhesive is coming off. Most of the other people that I've seen do this, it's done well for them and they've never had an issue with the adhesive coming off on the back. But um, I do wanna keep an eye on it. So I know there was a lot of concerns on my last couple videos about all of those things and I'm very mindful of them. I truly believe in having respect for somebody else's property and I would never wanna do anything that damages it. If you're cleaning along with me today, I hope that you're getting all of your things done. I know sometimes it's hard to get motivated and get up and get it done. And every time I'm done cleaning, I just feel like, why don't I do this more often? <laughs> There's days that I don't get my cleaning done and the house is a wreck and you know, real life. But it's so rewarding when you actually get up and get everything tackled and it feels so fresh. And it definitely helps me be more mentally clear when my house is cleaned up. Your laughter takes me to heaven I just want to make you repeat it and repeat it again Yeah, you make the sky so blue No, nothing's complicated So here is my one load of laundry for this day and I just feel like even if it takes me 30 minutes extra to fold a load of laundry and to load my dishwasher 
though that 30 minutes will save me so much headache and to not have it all backed up and do it every couple days it might just be me but i feel like it's the most efficient way to get my dishes and laundry done is to do a little bit every day Our dishwasher runs so fast and so it was done by now and I just got everything out, put it all away and then reloaded it. If you guys are new here, I'd love it if you hit the subscribe button. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you a lot of motivation to get your things done. Don't forget to give it a like for me and I will see you guys in my next video.